Terminator 1984 Acknowledgements to the Works of Harlan Ellison Harlan was an American science fiction writer who wrote many stories that started in a post-apocalyptic version of our world predating the Terminator 1984 with moral lessons about where humanity is heading. His writings were also quite visceral as he didn't believe in toning down violence. He's quoted as saying, violence is painful. It's full of blood. It hurts people. It kills people. And I think when you lie about it, when you pretty it up, you lead people to believe that it's possible to go around shooting each other, punching each other and stabbing each other with impunity. And my stories are intended to have a very pronounced emotional effect on people and so on occasion in a story when it demands that yes I get very candid very realistic and quote James Cameron has had numerous lawsuits and claims put against him for plagiarism throughout his career but Harlan Ellison was the only one of the people to win out of court settlements or agreements not lawsuits this certainly, on the surface, looks like an admittance of guilt of some sort, surely. Now, the Terminator's plagiarism claims were only ever really told from Harlan Ellison's perspective. He himself stated that this was stipulated by the settlement deal that James Cameron and other parties connected to the Terminator would not be able to comment or talk about what happened. And it was often referred to by Cameron as a quote, bum deal. Harlan states that he received a lump sum of money with another additional amount to be paid later and that all future publications of the Terminator on home release and broadcasts on TV would feature acknowledgments to the works of Harlan Ellison. Harlan Ellison also claimed that if James Cameron had approached him and said that he wanted to do his own take on Harlan's ideas, that Harlan would have allowed Cameron to do it for free had he just thanked him in the end credits. The way Ellison tells it, he began hearing rumblings during the production of The Terminator that it was sounding a bit like his Outer Limits episode, Soldier which Ellison had adapted from his 1957 story, Soldier from Tomorrow. Ellison claims that his requests to read the script were denied and that he had not been invited to the critics' screenings. When he managed to sneak into one of the screenings, he felt that the first few minutes of The Terminator were identical to Soldier. If true, another aspect of Ellison's claim is more compelling. He says that he was contacted by a friend at Starlog who said that the magazine was receiving pressure from Cameron's representatives to excise a quote from an interview Cameron gave Starlog. According to Ellison, in the original transcript of the interview, Cameron said that he got the idea for Terminator from a handful of Outer Limits episodes. Ellison also claimed that another acquaintance reported to him that he'd heard Cameron boast that if he that he'd quote ripped off a couple of Harlan Ellison's stories end quote in the writing of the Terminator. Many people have noted that in addition to Soldier, Demon with a Glass Hand, another one of Ellison's Outer Limit episodes bears certain similarities to the Terminator. The results, well. It doesn't appear that Ellison ever filed a complaint. He said that the studio was eager to settle the case out of court, and he puts the monetary settlement in the vicinity of $65,000, and now the Terminator credits include and acknowledge Ellison. This is Felicia Lockhart, and this has been The Lockhart Perspective.